let me teach let me teach you or tell you what you you need to know about sideways and uh, learning how to side pass your horse see I, I for one thing I'll tell you right now not many people side pass their horses enough they don't side pass them enough and they don't back them up enough so the better your horse goes sideways and backwards the better a horse you're gonna have and I'm not talking just a little bit you know when I first started training this horse and say I w went to a public arena or something everybody's walk trot cantering around the arena and what I was doing a lot of times would uh, I'd go straight with my horse only on the curved end or the short straight end and then when I got to the long the long side I was side passing and I'm not talking you know five or ten feet I was side passing the whole length until I got to the end then I would go straight with the horse and then I would side pass down the other way so th this horse has done a lot of lateral work and I'll, I'll move her out in, in a minute here and, and uh, I'll get on her and I, you just watch how nice she moves her feet and that's a, another reason why I teach a lot of horses to side pass over barrels without a rider on them and preferably I like to do it at liberty it, it's not or on a very loose rein you know and let the horse figure out what it has to do let them think about where they have to place their feet See, you think of it like this. Come here. Come here. Think, think of it like this. Think, think of it like you, you got to move a couch and you're all by yourself, right? Well, you, if you get in the middle of that couch and, and you go, and you're pushing, you're pushing because the floor is, is not even, you know, and the couch has got four feet on it. Well, one of those feet is hung up. So the other thing I, I'll say that a lot of you people don't do is practice moving one foot. Because you, you don't know how to move one front foot or one hind foot. Your side pass, this is what I see a, a lot of people, they look like they're, they literally look like they're passing gas. They got their leg on the middle of the horse and they're you almost kind of waiting to hear the if you granted when when it's good you you put it together but even still when it's all together I'm moving with my horse you know I'm moving I'm moving my hands front front feet the reins control the front feet and your everything below your hips controls the hind so even though it's, it's very subtle, I, I'm, I'm moving with that horse. I don't just sit there like a bump on a log and, and, and ask my horse to side pass. I mean, I might, I might kind of do that if I'm only going to take a couple steps, but if I want to actually go somewhere, I, I'm, I'm moving. And, and the faster I want to go, the faster my body is moving. And if I hit a, if I hit a rough spot in the floor, I got to know what I have to do in order to get that one foot over that rough spot so th the couch will flow evenly across the floor. So no matter how good you get a horse, a floor won't stay perfect forever just because wood shifts or, and, and whatever. Someday you're going to try to push the middle of that couch and guess what? One of those feet are going to get stuck and you're going to have to come over here and say, you know, I got to get this foot off the ground. So I'll get on her here, and I'll side pass her out this way and side pass her back and stuff, and, and show you what we got going on. So that, that, that's kind of what I'm, I mean, you know. You got to be able to move just the forehand, just the forehand, honey. Now I'll tell you something. I haven't been on this horse in over a year and a half. The last time I got on her was when I gave somebody a lesson on her. And I, myself, I wouldn't even consider it riding. I mean, but yes, I was on her and her feet were moving, so that's riding. 
but uh, all I did do is just get on her and uh, kind of make sure she was moving her feet right because after an amateur rides a horse, you know, the horses really don't know what they're doing. So I just got to kind of refresh her a little bit. So, but one thing that this horse and I have is a lot of wet saddle pads. We did a lot of riding years ago. And uh, so if I ask your side pass, and I'll, and I'll show you, see, I'm, I'm literally moving my hand and my hips. Same, same thing. So if I come back to you and, and I see that, oh, the, the, the back feet got stuck. So I have to correct, oh, there goes the front gets stuck. So now when I got the flow going, I expect it to go, not, not backwards, I expect it to kind of go pretty, pretty nicely. So I'll move her again. So if I ask for more speed, I actually got to kind of move a little bit back. Come on. And that, that's the other thing. You, you'll see when I correct her that I actually can correct her without her having her wig out. I mean, good golly, Miss Molly, son. Some of you people, if you ever touch your horse like that and say, hey, come on, get a little speed up, you, who knows what the heck you're going to have happen. So, there again, you know, even, even with the backward stuff, I have to shift my weight forward to get her to understand that I want forward. It's a matter of, oh, you're going too much forward? Or you're going too much backwards and, and still maintaining this lateral move. It, it's understanding the weight shift of the horse and being able to correct it. So don't just sit in the middle of your horse and, and, and try to just dead push her. Find out and, and find out what foot is sticking and know how to move that foot. So I mean if I sit there like that, let's see let's see what happens if I if I do it the way I see a lot of people do it. So, yeah. mm, let's see what happens. See, my front feet got stuck, and I'm pushing, I'm pushing. See, she's not even doing anything. I'm just about falling off my damn horse. So if I sit up correctly and I go, okay, we we had a little a little bit of stickiness there. And it's not that I'm doing a lot to unstick them, but you have to you have to learn to feel your horse and, and feel what what part is sticking. Is that that's going too much forward? Now, if I want to side pass, I'm going to sit here, but I'm still going to move like this. I'm exaggerating a little bit so you can see it. But my my hips are going with her hips, and and my my hands are going with hers, with her front. So that's kind of it in a nutshell, but you, you, you still have to learn how to just move the front foot or just move the hind foot. And that's something that I, I when I give people lessons, that's what I teach them before I let them go anywhere. People are riding horses around like crazy and they're, all they're doing is going forward. You teach your horse how to go sideways and teach them and do it a lot. This horse knows where her feet are all the time. You, people got bell boots on their horses because they, the horse is arguing. When a horse is arguing with you about moving their feet and then they, you got tension built up in the horse, well they clip, they clip their, their other hoof or they clip it from behind. Sideways teaches a horse where his feet are all the time. 